Hey guys, so I have gotten asked about a million, trillion, gazillion times about the details of this makeup look. So I figured let's just do a flat out tutorial so I can give you all the product info and step by step directions on how to achieve this look if you're interested. For those of you who just don't give a shit about makeup, I wanted to make it kind of fun for you as well. So I was trying to brainstorm what to do to keep it interesting. James Charles did a fun little like sing get ready with me that was super cute but uh your girl can't sing so that would have just been really bad it just didn't feel right so i asked you guys on twitter what i should do and we are doing answering truth so you guys sent me some pretty juicy ones i really enjoyed them this time so if you would like to see this look and hear the truths answered by me Let's do it, it's coming up right now. Just watch in like a couple seconds. So starting off with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in shade 220. I've been using a brush lately to apply my foundation. I was using a Blendy, Be Blendy Beauty, <laughs> a beauty blender for so long. I don't know, I just liked how the brush covers lately. So that's what we're doing. Let me grab a mirror. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh, bring it down the house. Where did you come from, Pimple? The fuck? I think it's such a nice coverage. It isn't full, but it is buildable. So while I am blending this all in, let me answer my first cue. Have you ever accidentally cheated on being vegan? Um, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if there's really anyone who hasn't or if they say they haven't, they probably just don't realize that they did. There's so many food companies that are sneaky with adding dairy into it. Things that you don't even realize aren't vegan. One that I can think of off the top of my head, I think it was for Christmas and it was either for like appetizers or whatever. They were having cheese. So I got a vegan cheese for everyone to try and show them how great it is and whatever. So I went to Trader Joe's and got vegan cheese. It was called soy cheese or something like that. My mom was like, yeah, it's really good. What's in it? So I go to read the ingredients and there's milk in it. What? So it was lactose free, but it wasn't dairy free. Alrighty, next up I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in light and I'm just gonna use this as concealer and highlighter on this freaking pimple. And while I blend this with my beauty blender, we'll go to question number two. Do you miss any of your exes? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. Because if there is anyone that I would miss having in my life, then they're still in my life. And if I have an ex that isn't in my life, then they're not in it for a reason. So, nope. Okay, now I'm using the Mighty Contour from Soap and Glory. It's the trio pack. I also showed in my last video with the contour and then the blush and highlight in here. And I was using this big thick brush, but it was using too much product and then not going on well. So I've honestly just been using my finger, which is nice because I can feel my cheekbone easily and really like get it exactly where I want it to go. And then I use a little brush. Where is it? this little flat brush and just put on the sides and I use that for my nose. All right, and again, use the blue. Oh, why can't I say beauty blender today? Use the beauty blender to blend that in. My next question is, could you flirt in Spanish? I guess that's more of a dare than a truth. Unless I just say no, and that's my truth. I don't really know a lot of Spanish. I know a couple phrases, but you guys all know I love my hua. Por que no los dos? I know it doesn't make sense, but I use it for everything. I know how to say vino tinto, so I could like ask if somebody wanted a red wine. Is that flirting? No. No, I cannot flirt in Spanish, sorry. Okay, next up I am using Dermablend Professionals Loose Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna set everywhere that I put the Shape Tape Concealer. And then I'm just gonna carve out the cheekbones just a little bit. What's your secret talent? By the way, I love you. I love you too, magically gay. And I also love your handle, that's so funny. <laughs> this is definitely not a talent by any degree of the term, but my pinky's really flexible. It looks so gross when I do it. It kind of looks like a vagina. 
<laughs> While this is setting, I'm actually gonna also go into my Pure Contour Diaries palette and I'm gonna add some powder contour. I just kind of mix a couple of the colors and go over the parts that I did the cream contour just to kind of intensify it a little bit. And it also is gonna help set that product a little bit as well, having the powder over top of the cream. Now I'm just gonna brush away that setting powder. Onto our brows. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit and lightly fill it in. I do like for this look for my eyebrows to be a little bit over filled in. Since I have the microblading done, I got them done very natural, so that I could just overline them if I wanted a more dramatic look. God, not that overlined, whoops. And keep these in place and make sure that they look full and fluffy. I'm using the Archery Volubuse Brow Fiber Gel from Soap and Glory. If you weren't a YouTuber, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Oh, this is so hard to answer because I feel like my life is always kind of things just kind of happen in an organic way, things surprise me, and the way I got into YouTube was never like a planned thing. So I feel like anything else I would have ended up doing would be like that, so I don't know. But I think I would be a stylist or something along those lines, because that's what I was doing beforehand, so I probably would have just been following that path, I think. Who knows? <laughs> okay, for the eyes, I'm going back in with the Contour Diaries from Pure. I really like using the contour I use on my face for my eyeshadow, just to keep it like a nice cohesive look. I'm just gonna go in with kind of a cooler tone and just tap that into the crease and above and just really, really buff it out. Kinda just want it to look as my eye normally does and naturally is a little darker there, just slightly intensified. Then I take the medium warmer tone and put that on top. Now taking this tiny little angled brush, I'm gonna go in with the darkest color and use this as eyeliner. And just tap that into the lash line on top. And then I'm just slightly dragging it out on the end. And then I'm gonna go back and sort of smooth it out and buff it so it's not harsh. And then also on the bottom lashes, but kind of just sweep it, don't pack it as much. How was the orgy with Amy, Rose, and Rosie? It was beautiful. <laughs> okay, on to highlighter. I am using the greatest highlighter I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a Fenty Beauty Confetti. I have an obsession with confetti and highlighter, so combining the two, win. It's just a win all around. It's very purple for this look. I probably should do something that's more of like a champagne-y tone, but I can't help it, I love it. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender again and just kinda blend that out a little bit so it's not super hard. Okay, I'm going back in with the Mighty Contour Palette and taking the blush, and I'm just gonna tap that on my cheeks. Beauty, blend that out a little bit. And while I'm doing this, the next question is, if you could live without one beauty product, what would it be? For the longest time, I would have answered blush because I never really used blush. I always thought it made me look funny and just was unnecessary. And since using this actual cream blush, I've fallen in love with it. Probably eyeshadow. I'm big on like not wearing eye makeup and focusing on other things. I am going to use my Tarte Mascara. <laughs> This next question, have you fallen asleep after sex? I feel like that's a pretty normal thing to do after one does the deed. It's when you fall asleep during sex that it's a little uncomfortable. Not that I would know from experience. I am doing the lip that you guys have all been asking about. I think it's, I've sneezed in me, come on. No, I scared it, oh. God damn it, why do I always have to sneeze after I do my mascara and then it gets all over me? This is the Bite Beauty lipstick, the Amuse Bouche lipstick in Licorice. It goes on so nice, that looks <laughs> silly. Okay, I think we're done. Am I forgetting anything? No, we did it. 
So this is the completed fall dark vixen look. I don't know what to call it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look and the truth answers as well. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're not already, hit the subscribe button so you can check out my videos every week that are out on Fridays, normally at 10 a.m., but sometimes at different times as well. I love you guys so much. Happy fall, and I will see you next week. Bye.